fellow furniture geek dorks, dorks. It's Teresa's dorks, right? Um, I was gonna say geeks, geeks, dorks, whatever. Anyway, geeks that's dorks. Teresa's line, not mine. I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Collection and Rave Home Staging, and I've got my BFF, Sue, with me. You've seen her helping take uh, Teresa's place, not that we can replace Teresa. I can't. Um, but anyway, it's Fab Furniture Friday, so thanks for joining us. Um, today we're gonna work on some side tables, and we're gonna do a couple of fun techniques. We are gonna do buffalo plaid on Sue's table on the top, and on mine, we are gonna do um, grain sack stripes. So we're gonna do that with our friendly, I think, tape? Some of the green tapes? With friendly frog tape. Um, we can, you can do this with blue painter's tape, but I'm gonna tell you it's not as effective. So uh, anyway, we're gonna do this with frog tape. Some I'm gonna, tapes are better than others for sure. I'm gonna, that's definitely true. I'm gonna help Sue get started with hers and um, I'm gonna talk about mine when she gets started. I've never done this before. Yeah, and I had to do a little refresher um, before we went live because I couldn't 100% remember the techniques. This is a technique that we learned from Alicia English on YouTube. She's good, fun to watch. She's very fun to watch. So if you're looking for somebody good to follow on YouTube, consider following Alicia English. Okay, so I'm gonna come back behind here. John, can you have everybody watching? We've already uh, pre-painted our coats on here. She's got one coat or two. Well, I see we've got six people. I look like, I, uh, it's hard for me to see that far away. It looks like Michelle Finnamore might be there. Um, yeah, so we're using general finishes today. And if you need to know how to prep for general finishes, then um, you can watch the Painting with Patrick episode. Hey, John, it's okay if you walk over there. Um, <laughs> a poor yeah. employee's trying to get through. Um, so if you if you want to know, we did these the same Good material point. with painting with Patrick, and so you can kind of see the technique for doing it. But one, we wanted this to have a nice dry coat, and two, um, we knew this would take a little while, so we wanted to go ahead and have the base done. So what we're going to do is we're just doing buffalo plaid on the top. We could do the whole thing, but we're really just going to focus it on the top. And then my designs are gonna be across the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the frog tape, and the frog tape is gonna be measured. John, do you wanna do kind of a, a fly over while we're doing the sure. first couple steps? Let me do a fly by for you. Yeah, getting up close is definitely important. Just for the first couple. All right. No way. Um, you're That's good right. right there, I think. Now lean it down. This way. Yep. So we're going to apply this first row to the very edge. Whoa, how's that? Whoa. Perfect. To the very edge, okay? And um, that doesn't have to be super adhered to it because we're actually going to take that off in a minute. The first one? Um, the second one. No, we're taking off the second one. You're right. So, so I, I make sure it's down there. So she's going to make sure it's down. And then we're going to line up this second piece. And this is basically going to be our spacer, okay? So we're going to lay that down and then lay the next one down right next to it. Nice and put it up. Put it up. Holly's and then we watching. Were, hi, Holly. Holly. And then we'll Holly remove. Holly Daigle? No, Holly Johnson. And then we'll <laughs> remove. Holly. And then we remove and we move the spacer and we add the next piece of tape. All right, I'll let you take over from there. Okay, okay. Okay, and then we'll come back and I'll show you my piece, of course. Actually, John, do you wanna? Yep. Swing it by. Swing it by. I'll be taking. Now on my piece, I. How's that? I'm a little tacky on that side. Um, so I started base painting mine and then I ran into a little problem. And I thought I would stop here and kind of show you the problem and how to fix it. So this is um, very heavily stained wood. And when we painted these a bunch of times and not had this problem on this particular piece, we have it. If you see here, you can see lots of bleeding from the furniture coming through. I'm not sure why it's happening. It could have been that it lost its finish. 
something got on there and pulled it through. But in any case, I could add more paint. But if I add more paint, that's just going to keep coming through. So the only way to stop bleeding is to put some kind of primer over it. And a lot of times that's shellac. But I'm going to tell you that I did a cabinet once and I sprayed this cabinet with an entire can of shellac. Followed all the instructions. And I got, uh, still continue to get bleed through. And I had this product on the, that I'd purchased, but I'd never used it before because I'm not a big primer girl. And that is Wise Owl Primer. And so it comes in three colors, Wise Owl Primer. It comes in three colors. It comes in white, clear, and gray. And in this case, we're gonna use clear. The other time I used it, it was gray. I've already put one coat over. I'm gonna do the second coat because you're supposed to have two good coats. And even though I'd already used a whole can of shellac and it hadn't stopped the bleeding, with the two coats of primer from Wise Owl that I used, it actually um, didn't bleed through. So hopefully that'll be true this time. I haven't used any shellac or anything, just I've already done one coat of the Wise Owl. And I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my whole piece with this second coat because I, I can't guarantee there won't be any more bleeding. And I thought I actually had seen a little bit of bleeding on here earlier when I was doing the base coat, so. Now, um, I was really impressed with this and then Teresa had a piece that was bleeding and she wanted to borrow my shellac and I told her that she could have some shellac that I had on the shelves, um, but she should try this primer and I gave her some just gave her like a little a little mini tester of it that I'd poured out for mine and she loved it. So then she ended up buying some and it's been working well for her. And then Anna from our store, um, who her husband is in construction. So she's used to using primers and all of that on pieces and, and all the construction stuff. And she had this piece she was remodeling in her house and she said that nothing, she'd used three or four kinds of primer it was on cedar and nothing oh, yeah. cedar. and nothing would stop the bleeding. She'd used Bin, she'd used Zinzer, um, she'd used a couple other oil-based primers. She tried a myriad of, of um, stain blockers and she'd used shellac and nothing was working. So I told her about this and she bought some and sure enough, she said two coats, fixed it perfect. So she has this other area, a medallion in her house that she needs to do. And I'm waiting to hear back if it worked on that because she also tried multiples on that All right, what's with my nothing next successful. Move? Okay, so your next move. Ready to swing the camera? Yeah, we need to come back out a little. Um, we, don't we just need it back on both of us. Want it point it back up again? Yeah. Okay, so now, no, 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 Ooh. no, just set that aside. That. So she's got it all taped up. Uh, needs to come down a little so you can see the top. It's well above her head. There you go. Sure. Okay, so she's got it all taped up in stripes. Now we've mixed up. So we're basically doing buffalo plaid in reverse. Okay. Um, normally buffalo plaid has the darkest on top, and we're actually going to go to the lightest because I want it to match this piece better and not be um, so dark on top. Okay, so our main color is basil, which is what this is painted, and our lightest color is going to be linen. So what we did then is we mixed two different little containers of sage and linen together, one that's a little closer to sage and one that's a little closer to linen. So it goes linen, more linen than sage, more sage than linen, and then sage. So we're reversing this. So now you're gonna take the more sage than linen mix and you're gonna paint on these stripes. So my stripes are gonna be the next darkest. The next darkest. Second to darkest. All right, I can do that. I'm just gonna put my last side over here. So I don't think that many things need to be primed typically. There are people that are of the must prime everything theory. I am not that person. But if it's bleeding and you want it to look nice, 
Yep, there's another bleed down there. I knew I saw one somewhere else. Um, and you want it to look nice. You do really have to add a primer. I'm going to come at an angle like this based on how you're shifted love. There you go. Okay? Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to dry this real quick. You are supposed to let this wait a few hours, but we don't have time for that. You all don't want to stick around that long, do you? So I'm going to take the heat gun and get this dry. By the way, we got a new microphone. Um, can anybody tell the difference? Do we seem any louder than normal? Wait, that does. David McCabe joined us. What? David McCabe joined us. David McCabe joined us. How many questions? Let's see. No questions yet. Hi, hi. Hi, Cynthia. Did you all check out our mega thrift haul from yesterday in Star? Ooh, you ordered just some junk. I mean, stuff. Hey, so what did we just do? Oh, good. Yeah, that I was all ready to send that bad boy microphone back if it wasn't going to work. So we had so much fun in Stark yesterday. If you are local and you love thrifting, I would for sure make it out there. The address is on the live video that we did out there. Um, oh, yeah. It's like 869 Jean or something like that. Yard sale deluxe. It's a, an estate sale. Most of the furniture has already been bought up. But man, there were some good smalls out there. I know um, Anna, who works here, went there today. Ooh, I wonder what she's going to get. I know. I can't wait to see what she got. So don't worry. We will still do our normal thrift haul. Teresa will be back for next Wednesday. And she's going to bring thrifting stuff from um, Colorado. But she won't be back on Monday, so I still got a shot at keeping this job. Push her out. Push her right out. Well, she's got the bad skills. I'm just mad. But you but you still have the, you still have a job with my BFF. Well, that's good. That's a tough job to have. Yeah, that's that's a tough job. It really is. Michelle Benamora said she loved the thrift haul and she wishes she was there. It was so much fun. You know really got rained on? Uh, even though I got rained on, and yeah, we got soaked. Who doesn't like stomping around in the mud? We were soaked, for sure. Or is that just me? Uh, it might <laughs> just be you. It's just you. That probably is just me. I did feel like like every moment I was missing out on something. Here, you want the heat gun? Am I peeling? Oh, I got to dry it first? Yeah, you got to dry it first. Uh, you get that heat gun close enough to you, you'll start peeling. Yeah, we'll start peeling. Oh, Lord, I got this thing all day. set up in a nice dangerous way. Well, you know, that's always good. Because if we electrocute ourselves, that would be good Ooh, live video. TV. We would get, um, what's it called when you, internet sensation? Uh, blooper, no, not no, bloopers, not bloopers. I mean, it would be a blooper real quick. What's it called, honey? Viral, it'd be viral. Oh, no, we don't need any more virals. There's, there's too many viral things going around. Wow, goodness, going around. That's what we need. Am I going to need two coats on this today? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, so I guess it is quiet, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Right. I'm trying to do a nice mini coat, which is very unlikely. Now, I'm going to tell you that if you're doing this on like a piece of wood, and your wood is square, because I ran into this issue earlier. It's good to know which way is top. And you might want to make some kind of note, because when you get to the point, like, so now that's dry, she's going to take all that tape off. Ooh. However, hmm? at the end, you have to put tape back on in those same places. I'm good at that, maybe. So it is helpful to know, if you're turning it, which direction is Teresa says, hi, she misses your faces. 
Oh, we miss your face too. We hope you're enjoying your time in Colorado. And she's then, on vacation and she's watching the face And then so hurry up and come back. Okay? For her watching the show and doing the show, it is probably a vacation to watch. Okay. We miss your your um Joyce. Your zhuzh, your <laughs> John got it in. You zhuzh up the show. Um, we we miss your routine before the show. <laughs> we, we don't pull out furniture dark quite as good as you do. Yeah, yeah, I'm not as good at that. I am still socially awkward though, even without you. <laughs> socially awkward covers just about all of us. It really does. You think that's a creative requirement? Maybe. Are there any creatives out there that are not socially awkward? Please raise your hand. I'm not socially awkward. You're not creative. Oh, I am creative. I mean, my you, own way. you can draw roses like nobody's business, but. All right, am I going, I guess, Chrissy Crossy with these Yes, things? and so. Same thing? So, kind of the opposite. So, this time you will, you left the first piece down, right? Yes, I did. So this time you want to lift the first piece up. Lift the first piece up. So this is going to be my spacer piece. Good. I can do that. I can do that. And I'm just throwing down my second coat. I was hoping to have this done before we went live, but then I wanted to show you how well the Wise Out Primer works for things like this, stopping the bleeding. So. Is everybody having a lovely day? I think it stopped raining, although the last time I looked out the windows, it looked like it was going to rain again. It does feel like we've had a lot of rain lately, which admittedly we need but it's more fun when you can stay home and sleep in the rain. Well, not in the rain. Because you can sleep in the rain anywhere. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I'd rather... Uh, you never thought about rain and sleep in the rain? Raindrops falling on your head. I mean, there is raindrops falling on your head. You're training him well. But she was ugly. So Joy's better. Autocrack probably. Is that piece of your really also gonna stay that solid white color? This color? Yes. Um yeah, I'm gonna put stripes on. But you're not doing the buffalo plan. No. John Boy's watching. Hey, John Boy. John Boy. So how are you doing over there? I'm slow, but I'm getting it right. I will not be caught doing another mistake if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not stenciling this week, so you can be fine. We're not doing transfers anymore. I was gonna say I'm actually doing a stencil, but you haven't had one out yet. Are you, are you trying to hex her? about general finishes is you don't actually need to top coat afterwards. But they do make my absolute favorite top coat. That's the, the matte matte, matte 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 matte, what is it? Yeah, it's called, um, hang on one second. 
So my favorite top coat is called uh, Flat Out Flat. Flat Out Flat. And what I love about it is that it basically dries as, as like a poly finish, but, fe but feels like you waxed it. Who doesn't love a feel of wax furniture? And I love the feel of wax probably put it away thinking you wouldn't need it. How oh, very helpful. Helpful indeed. But we are finally putting things away, so I cannot complain if something got put away. And in case anybody's interested, we got a fusion order behind us. Oh, fusion paint, finally. There are some, not all the colors that we needed. Not all of them. We're getting there. But we got a lot. And some that we didn't have, some that had been sold out. So, okay, so this is about 15 and a half. So how it's half of 15 and a half? Seven and three quarters? Seven and a quarter? Seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Ask me about math. That's like. And so I'm marking the middle of where this is. And what I'm going to do. Go. Stick you know what, I'm going to lay this on its side to make this easier to show you. I think I want you guys to see if it's dry enough. This side. Not quite dry enough. I'll just try to make it so you can see it from here. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I have very thick tape. You do have a wider tape than I this. have a wide frog tape. Is that like double the size, that two inch? Um, maybe. Maybe. Now what is my measuring tape? Right here next to me, I'm hogging it now. This is, yes, this is two inches. So I'm going to basically center this roughly right down the middle. I'm not going to, I'm going to apply this very loosely because this is actually going to be my pickup piece. Okay? That's like my first starter piece here. Yep. And then I'm going to do one of the smaller pieces on either side. And what I'm doing is, so she's doing buffalo plaid and I'm doing grain sack. Mine is still a little gummy, so. Got a little tackiness to it. Got a little tackiness to it, so I'm hoping I don't Your screw this up. Your piece is so tacky. Yeah, my piece is super tacky. Usually I get the tacky. But you know. Hey. Did you see Dee's question? I did not see Dee's question. Dee Dockery asks, or says, I just tuned in. Are those concrete tables, I can't tell. If not, what are they made of? No, they're wooden tables. They're just really <laughs> scratched up wooden tables. We like to call it Indonesian ironwood because it tends to be heavier than most wood tables. Yeah, they do. It makes me crazy. They are, they are in the realm of heavy. That's, that's accurate. And we know they are made in Indonesia. Okay, so how are you doing? I am finished with that set of striping. Now, what do I do next? Now, so you went from the darkest color to the next darkest color. I did, I did do that. So now you're gonna go to the next lighter color. Should I come in for a zoom so they can see where she's at? Yeah. That would be this little guy. All right, so. Do I need a clean brush then? Since I'm going from darker to light? No, you should still be able to use your brush. How's that? Um, I, I, I can't tell. I think, I think it just needs to go down a little, like the face go down. So I'm going to go. Yeah. Not a lot. Just there you go. Okay. Right there. Go. There you go. Right there. All right. So you can see she rotated the table 90 degrees and she put tape across opposite directions. Yep. And on the first one, we used the tape as the stick down and on this one we're using the tape as the spacer. 
right? Something like that. They're opposite each other. <laughs> However you do the one, you do the opposite next. I'm trying to keep my line around the tape still a little lighter as a first coat, well, as my start coat, because I, I, don't, I don't trust tape. I think it all bleeds. I don't care what they say about their tape. I think it all bleeds. Anybody found a tape that doesn't bleed? That is supposed to be this frog tape. Yeah. But here's a secret if you're worried about bleeding, is you put a clear coat down. Or you could go very lightly with one coat and go back over it. With okay, a coat. so John, you wanna show them mine? Yep, you ready? Okay, so for mine, you're perfect. So for mine, I have my, took out my spacer. I used the tape as spacer, just like here. I'm gonna take out this spacer, okay? They're off both sides. And I'm gonna take out this big metal spacer. Now I'm gonna make sure that these are down really well. And I'm actually gonna use just a little bit of the clear primer over these. Like I said, you could use clear. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that clear primer because basically what I need is if anything goes under, I want it to be clear. I could also use the color of the base coat as what I paint over and it's any liquid that that seeps under you won't see it because you're adding the clear the clear will seep under it and that theoretically shouldn't be obvious because it's clear okay so just a nice light coat and then for me I'm not doing a plaid I'm just doing the stripes uh, the grain sack stripes so I'm gonna go directly to the sage. Oh, and Teresa, if you're still on, tell me what kind of brushes are we using today? <laughs> Too bad we can't do a little live and pop and pop square, it, right? Does it, does it zoom? Um, so yeah, we're using our Klingon brushes, and that's with a C, not with a K. This isn't Star Trek, no matter how much I love Star Trek. Um, that is the geek, not the dork in me, I suppose. Um, but anyway, we love them because there's basically very little to no cleanup required. You just rinse the color out of the brush and then stick it in water, and it cleans itself. You don't get all that paint stuck in the ferrule even get these cute little buckets to hang them in so they just hang the little tips of the brushes in the them. water right there you just hang it so it's up to about there and it pulls everything right out and if you're like me and you hate cleaning brushes and you tend to leave your brushes on the sink and then they get all dried out and ruined Nobody with paint stuck that. in them because you don't feel like spending an hour cleaning all your brushes things get all rusty you don't want that you don't want that um so this is what I do instead now, is I found these brushes and I've barely touched my other brushes. All right. Okay. All right. You got that? Got that. We're not going to take the tape off this time. Oh. So I'm, oh. Don't confuse me on that. But I, I, I'm going to go across. Yes, but we're going to dry it here. So we're going to try mine. And then I'll let you dry yours. Okay. So stripey. Okay. So you're going to dry yours. And you're going to hop over. Hop, 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 hop. We're doing jump rope back here. Okay, so.
Come on, not too much. You don't want the pink to bubble up. Oh, no bubbling. I'm watching. No bubbles. No bubbles. No bubbles. Put that over here. Do not touch the end of that. I did that earlier today. Right, so you now. They tell me not to. So now, you're going to turn this. Back sideways. Which was this way, right? I think so. And so that's the darker green. I can kind of see it, the layers, and the lighter green, the lighter with the whiter. And so now you're going to tape it just like you did the first time. Right over this. Right over this. Got it. I can do this. You can do this. What happens if you turn it the wrong way? I think you, your stripes are not going to match. Probably wouldn't be good if I used the two-inch tape. No. Okay, you want to push it so we're... Both you and Both the shot again? We got you. We got you moving back and forth, dude. You're working today. I know. Right. Oh, here, actually, Normally, I'd be yeah. doing that. Actually, just bring them over to mine real quick while she's taping because I'm going to give you the enjoyment here. You ready? Okay. Wait a second. Let me make sure this is Is that a good angle for you? Yep. Yeah. The reveal. The reveal. Look, it's, it's like sticky. a perfect little grain sack stripe. That's very nice. Okay, so now on mine, I'm going to make sure mine is dry because I have one more step to do. What's your next step? I am going to put a stencil over this Ooh. so it has a nice pattern on it, like a great sack. All right, then. You want to? You want to get both of you in full for it? You're directing and producing from the other side of the camera and starring. How's that? Probably would take notice. Good angle? Uh, it's too high. You can't see any of it. Nothing. Can't see nothing. Nothing. Can't see. Tippy top of that head. Better. So you're on flex. You're too tall. I am too tall. Because you're obviously not too short. It's, this is set up for a Melissa and Teresa height. Okay. So I'm going to take this stencil. We know I love bumblebees, right? Is there anybody who doesn't know I love bumblebees? There might be one or two people in the world. Totally need to paint that green sack stripe with 80s colors. That's Teresa. <laughs> it was Teresa that would be highlighter green, not basil. No, that would be Chris. Are we going for Wham? 80s. I'm going for 80s colors. So those are highlighter green. Wham would be like neon. Yeah, that's true. What's up, Lily? I didn't know you were doing your lives. Just checking in. <laughs> I like okay. it when you have things to tell. So these are our maker studio. You can get them at ravehomecollection.com as you can all of our paint and brushes. And what I love about this is I've already used this like a dozen times and it is a mesh stencil and it is um, restickable. So when you wash it, as long as you make sure that you dry it upside down so that the sticky is up. These are awesome. Um, then it pretty much works every time. And I love these because they're easy to use. They're repositionable. Um, and once you see how easy they are to stencil, you are not going to want to do traditional stencils again. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth this out. Okay. See? Stuck. Stuck. Now. I have a couple different kinds of chalk paste. Today I'm going to use a Maker Studio chalk art. This is a lot like chalk couture, if you've ever used chalk couture. Um, it is washable, so I could paint it on if this were a chalkboard. I could put it on here, I could wash it off with water. Um, it could sit on there for six months and I can wash it off with water. It is going to be washable until it is sealed. And that means that I'm actually going to have to do a spray sealant over the top this time because otherwise, if I put liquid on it, it's gonna wash. Now I could have used my Prima chalk paste, but I didn't have the color that I wanted. So I'm using the, um, this is Preaching to the Choir. That's a gray. It's, it's Do a gray. you have my, my color? 
What color? Oh, what color? Uh, what's my next color? Your next color. Is it the no, alabaster? It's the, lightest, the it's the lightest color, which is the lemon. She was hiding it. I was hiding it. And then I have a chalk art spreader. And all I'm going to do is I want to take a little of this out. See, it's, look, we're like, um, Am I wrong to think I'm just going to start painting? No, go ahead. Okie dokie. Or like Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. You're like a blizzard. Okay. So anyway, I'm just going to scoop some out. Scoop it right out. You don't need very much. And I'm with a little bit of pressure, I'm going to push this chalk art into the nooks and crannies. All the little pattern on my stencil. Yeah. Over the little it's bumblebee. Like if you've ever done a t-shirt. Yeah, it's a lot like it's a lot like screen art. Silk screening. It's really fun. It really is fun. Yeah, and we have um, you can use these stencils for a lot of things. We have um, you can emboss with these with the gilding. You can we've got ceramic paint. We've got t-shirt paint, or fabric paint, I should say. So you could do pillows with it. Um, and we also have... Glass etching. Glass etching. That's the one I was missing. That's the one I had the fun with. Yep. And so I would show you this big bee vase we did. I bought the vase. It was a beautiful vase for like three bucks at the thrift store. And I sold it for 20-something here last week. And all I did was have this big bee in the center of this on there. And then some little words that are a different stencil that say be happy. And somebody bought it for like 20 bucks because it was a beautiful glassed, uh, uh, etched glass face. Okay, you ready for the magic, magic to happen? Magic time. Ooh, yeah. Can y'all see that? That is just fun. All right, hold it on. You want to paint side down? Yeah. Look at the detail. Can you see the detail in that? It's amazing. And how fast that was. Like, if you were stenciling, stenciling, this would take forever. When you're to artistically do that. challenged like me, stencils are your best friend. There's no seepage. Um, you didn't have to worry about mar like brush marks. You didn't have to worry about pouncing versus swirling. Um, so that it doesn't go under and all I have to do is take that to the sink and wash it out and I can reuse it on whatever I want. Okay. Those are nice. I do like those. Yep. We can see, look at it, Suzu's progress. All right. How's the angle? I don't know. Good, I think. Fine. Concentrating. Comes the thunder. I thought I heard something. Here comes the rain. Don't mess me up, man. I got two shoots this afternoon. Swing on by. Let me go out and get my work done. If anybody doesn't know, I do real estate photography for Rave Home Staging. You should check us out. Our staging is wonderful. Our stagers are wonderful. Heck, it's just all wonderful. All right, this is my last one. I'm gonna have to dry this in? Nope, we're not even gonna dry it. We're not even gonna dry it? We're not even gonna dry it. That just doesn't seem right. And yet, it is. Does that look good? Looks good. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way because the final reveal, what am I doing? You are going to remove the stripe, all, is all it, the tape. Is it gonna be like one big grid ripoff? Yep, one big grid ripoff. Not just a... a Stripe at a time. One big grid ripoff. Do you trust Sue with a big grid ripoff? I do. I do trust her with the big grid ripoff. I have faith. So I am ye of little faith. It's the magic. Do you believe in magic? That love and spoonful. I think. I don't know. That's where we need Kevin and his musical expertise. That's a shout out to SOS Radio in St. Augustine. Miss you guys. Oh, there we go. Teresa says, what a clever way to zhuzh up to otherwise plain Jane cable. Are you saying I zhuzhed something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Lucky 
lucky, lucky. Look, Ma, I did something. So now we have, let's just kind of put these together so people can see what our little nested set looks like. Let me clear some jumps out of the way. Well, what are we doing? How do we do? Do we do good? Do you like them? Are they up. as beautiful as I think they are? Okay, so we're gonna set this. You gotta rotate this yep. one, nice. What do you think, guys? How do you like our custom? Our custom side tables. Well, I like them, but you know, I'm, I'm a little partial. Let me come in for a better angle. I'm a little partial. So Don's gonna do a flyby, and we did pretty good because we didn't even take up the whole hour. Really? A little pre prep on our part. I'm not much of a talker, so I don't know if I can really How waste anybody's it? time. Looks for good. A while. You can see mine really nice. You can't see Sue's. Hey. There so you go. Mine. There you go. There you go. There you go. Teresa says, love, 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 love. I know you would. That was beautiful. So grain sack stripe and a little buffalo plaid give these very plain tables a really fun, new, trendy look. A zhuzh. A zhuzh. <laughs> a zhuzh. A zhuzh. We, we've been zhuzhing. So let us know what you think um, in the comments. Michelle Finnamore says it looks awesome. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. You are always so complimentary. That's we love true. You. You're very nice. Um, if you like the stencil or the paint, you can pick those up at rayhomecollection.com. Yes, we do ship. Um, and be sure to follow us on YouTube as well. We are at uh, youtube.com forward slash ravehomestaging. Give us a like and a share there. Yep. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.